and welcome back to the channel everyone uh, we are back at uh, marketplace and the uh, sunrise area hundred mile radius and we're looking for cars and trucks trucks and cars for between the price of three hundred and fifteen hundred dollars all right let's see what jumps out of us out at us today all right uh, here's a 2007 Toyota Yaris for one thousand two hundred eighty eight dollars Mm, let's look at what is going on here. All right, let's look at the big picture. Okay, these Toyota Yaris's. Um, I actually, um, <clears throat> I actually rented one of these things uh, a few years ago. Um, this is not. It wasn't the two door hatchback like this. It was the. It was a four door model. Quite. It was a high end one. If <laughs> there is such a thing with a with a Yaris, um, but I had a lot of uh, equipment in 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 a. Uh, in it um this one was an automatic um yeah and what i found <laughs> was that this here was a problem and what i found was that i had to keep you know my eyes i had to you know keep my eyes kind of towards the right all the time to see the speed and all of that and um it actually started to make my eyeballs hurt yeah so not a real big fan of the center um you know center mounted uh, speedometer i know it, it you know there's a actual um benefit to it in that manufacturers they don't have to make a different um dashboard for left hand drive and right hand drive models and i get it you know but this is one of the reasons why i couldn't have a tesla you know this center mounted stuff uh, it makes my eyeballs hurt i suppose i'll get used to, you know i'd get used to it but yeah, but anyway, um, that's not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, these cars are incredibly fuel efficient. My neighbor actually had one of these, you know, two door um, hatchbacks. Um, I can just imagine how little he paid for fuel. All right, let's see here. Um, this model doesn't look particularly bad. Let's see the description here. Uh, whew, what's that now? Yeah, all right. Call, la la la. Let me see. Good day, good that, good that. You know, I'm looking for the. The, um, if it's a down payment or something. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this is cash. I think it's a cash price. I'm not seeing anything that says that it wouldn't be $1,288 and a down payment of this on such a small car. Seems a little, would seem a little bit much. But yeah, um, let me see. Let me go back in here for a second. I, I did see something <coughs> um, like, yeah, it had a little damage here um not a deal breaker i suppose you could try to even it out to a thousand dollars really and, and make some good use of it all right okay let's move on um okay here is uh let's see here's a 2400 accord going for 999 dollars um, i'm doubting it um let's look at the big picture all right so we see here that we've had some damage to the front you can tell right here across the bumper right there and the fact that we have a new bumper there i think that says to us that we had some damage there all right not necessarily a deal breaker um let's see you know um yeah you know it's pretty simple car some of these accords of this vintage had drum brakes in the rear and uh, uh, that's all I can say. Uh, but anyway, um, basic, um, you know, Honda uh, mechanicals here. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let me see here. Of course, as usual, um, not seeing anything that says it's a down payment. So nine hundred ninety nine dollars. It could be a down payment, to be honest with you. Nine hundred ninety nine dollars. If it really is that, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm not seeing much. You know, I'm not seeing much to say. Hey, you know, anything is wrong with it. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Here's a 2005 Toyota Corolla, 999 dollars for sale. Um, let's look at the big picture. This is a dealer. So once again, this could oh, this could very well be a down payment. Hmm, what am I seeing here? Oh, thought I was seeing some um some damage but that was just reflection of other vehicles in it now this car seems to be in pretty good condition very good condition i'm doubting this is not a nice and to be honest with you i'm did i see it was a ce what what what, what trim level is this um let me 
Queen of the Sea. Oh, here we go. This is actually an Ellie, so it's not a base model. Um, so yeah, um, looks pretty straight. It's got a, you know still got floor mats and all of that. I highly doubt this is not a ninety nine dollars. I mean, if it is, <laughs> grab it. Yeah. All right, let's see here uh, about this vehicle drive today. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this, I'm thinking this is, this is not $99, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, but if it is, hey, winner, all right, 2001 Toyota Solar for $700, very believable, all right, let's have a look at the big picture, all right, now, this, guys, is green, I love green cars, and I noticed that green is coming back in, I saw a BMW 7 Series the other day, you know, the, the current model, and it was in a awesome what looked like british racing green which is an unusual color for german cars but it was gorgeous and i've been seeing you know these bottle green forest green racing green you know dark green colors a lot recently uh even on some gm gm models yeah but anyway yeah so this car here uh is a beautiful color it has a tan interior so for me uh forest green exterior or british racing green exterior with a tan interior with some wood trimmings yep good to go so here we have this nice um you know this leather interior let's see if we can have a shot of the oh this is a v6 guys so this one was this one was firing literally on all six cylinders didn't get a, a view of the front seats oh yes we did my bad these seats are in fairly good condition we've got some uh issue or the other right there but my goodness this is not bad at all it's got the it's got the wood trim i like that I like that a lot hmm, this car looks interesting let's see 700 dollars perfectly believable that's a good price 2001 selling my 2001 toys to slide the car is good is at transportation the car runs they have good ac to buy to brand new tires for brand new rate no radio no new battery letting it go because i have no space for it the radio eh. not a deal breaker at all but this is nice guys i would jump at this i would definitely jump at that all right uh scrolling scrolling okay 2009 chevrolet chevrolet for 1200 dollars. i do not think that that hmm i'm tempted guys i know it's a down payment but what the heck okay 2009 chevrolet silverado uh, 1500 let's look at the big picture all right so we've got a toolbox in the back there oh come on let's go back in here all right so it's got a toolbox in the back um yeah i didn't mind these um these chevy trucks but you know me i hate you know this you know the wheel arches are square surrounding round wheels that's so dunce but anyway Ah, here we have it. Here we have it. Here we have it. Yeah, I would never, j just the mere thought that these people do something like this, I'd never buy a vehicle from them. Moving on. 2004 F-150 uh, for $900. Perfectly believable. Let's see the big picture. All right. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look at this. What this says to me, ladies and gentlemen, is that this vehicle was in an accident and the airbag was deployed it was repaired all right um not repaired properly so that airbag does not work so might want to think twice about uh you know this no matter how cheap it is because it will be inherently less safe and perhaps illegal in some uh in some jurisdictions all right so let's uh, see what's going on here finance good transmission blah 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 what are you financing bro what are you financing at nine hundred dollars? This isn't even worth nine hundred dollars. Not sure what's going on there. All right, let's see if we can get one more in. One more in. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to look at this here. Two thousand three Nissan Xterra for fifteen hundred dollars. Um. Whew, what's going on? Let me let me jump out of this. Let let's jump back in here. Okay, here we go. All right, 2003 Nissan Xterra SC Sport Utility four door. Let's have a look at the big picture. All right, so here we see some uh, some paint stripping going on here. Somewhat unusual place to be stripping right there. Why do strip there? 
All right, so we've also got some uh, some fading going on on the uh, rear bumper here. Not unusual, not a deal breaker. We've got some issues here in the front. Man, this thing looks like it was in the Sahara for a couple of days, a couple of months. All right, um, these vehicles are pretty straightforward. They're based on the on the Frontier pickup, which is kind of kind of the last time that that uh, Nissan did this. Now, if you remember, your original Pathfinder was based on an, on, the, on the Nissan pickup. So this is really what it, the uh, Pathfinder should have been. You know, uh, you know, uh, it's a body on frame SUV based on a pickup. That's how the Forerunner was. That was how the all of them were. But anyway, as time went by, everybody wanted more and more comfort, so on, so on, so forth. And they moved away from ladder chassis or body on frame chassis. Um, yeah. What am I thinking about this one? I'm thinking that this one is costing way more than $1,500 and it's not worth it because this is a vehicle right now that's probably only worth $1,500. But let's see. Uh, 2003 Nissan Xterra, 100,000 miles, four wheel drive, good radio and speakers. Doesn't say anything about a down payment, but it's an entire possibility that it is 1500 That's probably what I would pay for it. Um, 100,000 miles, I don't think so. You know, my car is a 2013 and it's over 100,000 miles, so rubbish. Um, but hey, what can I say? But hey, guys, listen, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, supporting. If you dig what's going on, like, share, subscribe, and hey, I'll see you guys soon.